Hi, welcome back to our channel. Thanks for joining us again. Today we're going to be doing a special routine that's a progressive burpee. So we all know that everyone loves burpees. If you don't know what a burpee is, here it is. So you're basically going into plank position, jumping your legs out, jumping your legs in, jumping up in the air. Today we're going to change it up a little bit, add in some extra exercises and break down each section to make it a full workout. So join me, let's get started. Start by side to side steps, bring your knee up as high as you can. Keep your core tight while you're doing this, keep breathing. Then start punching across in front of your body, getting your shoulders moving again. We don't need to stop moving at all during this, we want to get your heart rate pumping. Arms backwards now. Start squatting a little bit and bring your arms backwards. All the way around, squatting deeply, then tapping your toes. This will twist your lower back slightly. Go as low as you can go. If you can't reach your toe, that's fine. We can work up to that. Brilliant, you're doing really well. One more tap and that's it. Okay, up to the ceiling. Stretching over one side and over the other side. As I said, we're not gonna stop. So just keep bouncing backwards and forwards, getting the body warmed up. Bringing your legs out, opening up your hips. We do this in a lot of our warm up. It's a really good way to get your hips opening up and then the opposite direction. Leg shoulder at the back, coming down into a squat and back up. You're going to stretch out behind you, opening your chest up, getting your shoulders working. Well done, this is just our warm up now. Doing little step taps now. So step outside, tap up, arm up in the air. Just a little stretch. I'm going to point forwards in front. We're doing this as a little routine now. So you're going to do two up in the air. That's two, and then four in front. One, two, three, four. Very good. Well done. On to the actual routine. So you'll start with a squat, go into walk out, leg thread, push up, walk back in, standing up with a punch, walking back out again, mountain climber, plank hold for five seconds, walk back in, side lunge, side lunge, and then a broad jump. That's the full routine that we're gonna work up to. So first things first, we're gonna start off with one squat. So we're gonna do one squat, well done. Now it's gonna be two squats walk out. So you're gonna go down into the squat, walk forwards into plank, standing back up again. It's one out to plank, coming back up again. Number two, and back up again. So every time we're adding an exercise, we're adding a repetition. So this time it's three squats, walk out, leg thread. You're doing it all in one go and then repeating from the beginning. Squat, walk out, leg thread. So leg thread, you're in plank position, your leg goes underneath you and you're twisting your body slightly. So it's working your oblique muscles. Walk back in again. Try and get down into a nice plank position every single time before you thread your leg, leg underneath. Round four, we're gonna add in a push-up and we're gonna add in a repetition. So this time you're gonna do it four times. Do you see how this routine's working now? So every time we're pushing it a little bit more, making it a little bit harder. So the squats, leg thread, push up, coming back in. If you want, do the push up off your knees, or you can even add in a little box and move yourself to a box. It's 
after a round four of nine. So squat, walk out, leg thread, push up, coming back in. Very good. This might start to go a little bit as you get a bit tired, but to begin with, let's try and keep it nice and solid. And you're done for round four. Let's go on to round five, and we're gonna add in a punch. So you can do a squat, walk out, leg thread, push up, and when you stand back up again, add in a little punch. Again, twisting as you're punching. So leg threads work in the obliques. Push up for your chest and your shoulders, getting a workout as you're walking and out. And then we're adding the punch to twist the obliques again. If you want to do a little squat as you're doing the punch, just to make it a little bit more difficult. You're doing really well, so that's number two gone. So walk out, leg thread, push up, walk back in again, and punch. As you start getting tired, it might be a bit more difficult to remember what the exercise is. So I'll start walking you through them a little bit more as we go on. So walk back in again, stand up, punch, very good. Walk out, leg thread, push up, coming back in again, punch, and that's round five done, well done. Round six, are you ready? So we've got mountain climbers to add in. So at the end, once you come up and do a punch, you're then gonna walk back out again, and then do a mountain climber. So mountain climber is knee to elbow across the body we're gonna do this time. So let's get started, squat, walk out, leg thread, push up, walk back in again, standing up to your punch, and then you're gonna go back down to a walk out, and knee to elbow, knee to elbow, keeping your core tight, crunching it as you go. We have got six rounds of this. Push up, you'll be feeling the burn and feeling the sweat by now. Get a little squat, walking back out again. Knees to elbows, very good. Hope you're feeling well, hope you're feeling energetic. Take breaks in between this. You can stop the video at any time and take a break. Try and stop it at the end of each round though if you're gonna take a break. Complete the round and then have a break, have a drink of water, get your towel ready. So walk out, leg thread, push up, walk back in. Let's punch, walk back out again. Knees to elbows, very good. You're doing really well, not many left now. Walk out, leg thread, push up, walk back in again. Ready for that punch? Punch it out. Oh, I forgot the punch there. Don't forget your punch. Walk out, leg thread, push up, walk back in. Very good. You see, the tidier you get, the more you start forgetting little exercises. Walking back in. Leg thread, push up. There we go, I've got my punch right again. Coming back out, knees to elbows. Coming back in, very good. Round seven, you're doing really well. Take a break if you need a break now. This time we're gonna add in a five second plank hold. So you can do squat, walk out, leg thread, push up, standing up for a punch, walking back out again, knees to elbows for mountain climber, and then hold that position for five seconds. You're just gonna count out in your brain. Breathe in, breathe out, press pause if you need to. If not, let's get started. So we've got squat, walk out, leg thread, push up, come back in again, standing up with a little punch, walking back out again, and then knees to elbow, plank hold, three, two, one. Very good, just count out in your head if you can. I hope you're all keeping up and doing well. Take breaks when you need breaks.
This is quite an advanced cardio routine. I've had people in my gym do it. So I've got clients that I train and we do this at the beginning as part of their cardio every few months and they would find it quite tough to do all the way through. So we're on plank hold, coming back in again. Keep breathing it through, well done. Squat, walk out, leg thread, keep that core tight, push up, keep your body tight, a nice plank position. Walking back up, nice good punches, put everything into it. Walking back out, knees to elbows, plank hold, breathe in, breathe out. This is an active rest period. Walking back up, let's go again, walk out. Leg thread, push up, go, go, go. Walking back in again. Let's see those punches, punch, punch. Well done. Walking back out again. Knees to elbow, plank hold. Three, two, one. Walking back in. You're doing so well. You're on round seven of nine. You see, I had a little break there and then go back into it again. Walk out, leg threads, push up. Walking back in again, standing up, give me a punch. Nice, very good. Walking back out again. Knees to elbows, keep your core tight while you're doing this. Nice plank position, walking back in again. Brilliant, you've got this, you can do this. Onto the leg thread, push up, walking back in. Give me a punch, go, go, go. Keep breathing it through. I know by now you're sweating lots, you're getting quite hot. Well done. And here we go with round eight. So we're adding in a side lunge. So you're gonna end with the plank hold and then right at the end you'll walk back up again and you're gonna lunge your feet out to either side. So as you can see in the demonstration, we're gonna walk out, knees to elbows, hold, Walk back in again, and this time step out to the side, step out to the side, okay? Breathe in, breathe out, let's go. Squat, walk out, leg thread, push up, walk back in, give me a punch, keep going. Walk back out again, knees to elbows, plank hold. Walk back in and step out to the side, step out to the side, very good. Make sure your knees don't go in front of your toes when you're doing these side lunges. And try and keep your core tight, your head up and your shoulders back. Breathe it through as you're going. So on round eight now, we're nearly at the very end. So you're doing eight rounds of eight exercises. Leg thread, push up, come back in. Standing up, show me your punch, 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 good. Out again. Knees to elbow, hold it. Two, one, coming back in again, standing up. Side lunge and side lunge, very good. Reset your feet and walk back out again. Leg thread. Push up. Walking back in. Punch, punch, walking out. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow, plank hold. Three, two, one. Walking back in again. Standing up, give me a side lunge and another side lunge, very good. Reset and go again. As I said, try to not take a break until the very end. If your uh, shoulders are hurting in the push-ups, then you can go onto your knees and do little knee push-ups. Just concentrate on keeping breathing. Let the oxygen go to your muscles. You're doing so well. Leg thread. Push-up. Walk in, standing up, punch, punch, down, walk out, knees to elbows, plank hold, walking back in again, standing up, 
Side lunge, side lunge. You've not got many left to do now, you're doing so well. Keep it going. Give me a punch. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow, plank hold. Three, two, one. Walking back in again. Standing up, side lunge, side lunge. Reset. You haven't got many more left to go now. So it's eight rounds we're doing of this. During filming of this, I actually lost count with how many I was doing. And I think I actually did nine repetitions. So I had to cut the video short. Coming back in again, standing up. Side lunge, side lunge. Keep it going, keep pushing, keep breathing. Walking out. Don't forget to really rotate with those legs on the leg threads. We want to work those obliques. Standing up, punching again, working the obliques, keeping your core tight as you're punching. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Hold it. And walk up. Side lunge, side lunge. Very good, that's it, well done. So we're on to our final round. This time we're gonna add in a broad jump at the very end. So you're gonna be jumping backwards and forwards, changing position. If you don't have enough space for this, then do a straight jump up in the air. You can see we're gonna do squat, walk out, leg thread, push up, punch, walk out mountain climber, plank hold, side lunge, broad jump. Are you ready? Let's go. Walk out, leg thread, push up, walk back in, show me a punch, walk back out again, knees to elbow, plank hold, walk back in again, side lunge, side lunge, and a broad jump. Very good. If you don't have space, as I said, jump up in the air. If you do have space, then concentrate on going as deep as you can, using your hands to help throw you forwards and try and jump a little bit further every time. I know by round nine, you're starting to feel tired, your legs are going and it's quite difficult, but just keep pushing. So remember all the techniques I've been telling you. Core nice and tight, keep breathing. Make sure your knees don't go over your toes as you're squatting down as you're doing these lunges. Try and keep a nice tight plank position still. Walking in, side lunge, side lunge, and jumping forward, very good. I always have to reset my feet just before I start again. Leg thread, leg thread, keeping your core tight. Push up as low as you can go. Little punches, walking back out again. Mountain climbers, plank hold. Two, one. Try and get your plank nice and flat and straight while you're doing these. You get tired, everything starts to go a little bit, but try and concentrate on these little points. Walk out, leg thread. Push up, walking back in, punch, punch, walking back out again, knees to elbow, plank hold, walk back in, side lunge, side lunge, and show me your biggest jump. You see how I'm using my arms to drive myself forwards. Keep pushing, oh, I went to come up too quickly then, coming back up again, side lunge, side lunge, big big jump, very good, take a breather and reset, let's go, leg thread, leg thread, push up, push ups are starting to get difficult now aren't they, keep pushing through, this is it, this is our last round. Afterwards, we're going to do a cool down, let your heart rate drop back down again. You can then have a nice big drink of water. 
and big broad jump, go. Reset and let's go again. It helps to have somebody with you timing you and telling you how many you've done. But if you're keeping it with the video, do it as long as I'm doing it. Knees to elbow. Walking back in. Standing up. Side lunge. Show me your biggest jump. Go, go, go. Nice. Well done. Push up. Walking back in again. Standing up. You can do a punch. Squatting down. Walking out. Mountain climbers. Plank hold. Walking back in again. Show me those side lunges. Down, back up. Down, back up. Use those arms. Drive forwards. Well done. We're on our last round. Coming out. Leg thread. Push up. Give it everything, let's go, punch, punch. Walking back out again, knee to elbow, plank hold. Doing well, walk it back in again. Standing up, side lunge, side lunge, one big jump for the finale, yay! Let's let your heart rate drop down. Well done for completing that full round nine rounds of nine progressive exercises so just start bringing your arms up and down breathing and then we've gone into one arm in front of the other twisting round bringing the arm across twisting this is to um, stretch out your shoulders bringing one arm up and behind your head and then the opposite one, stretching out your triceps after all those walkouts and push-ups. Your arms need a good stretch. And then now let's go onto your oblique, so stretching over one side, over the other side. Try not to move forwards or backwards of that front plane. Bring your arms in front of you. Come down to the ground. Just let it rest there a second. Move your legs shoulder width apart. Rest your elbows onto your knees. Then you're going to move your body weight over to one side. So one leg straight, one leg's bent over the opposite side, making sure your knee doesn't go in front of your toe again. Standing up, slowly bringing your ideas. feet in, rolling those shoulders back. We really worked those shoulders today, didn't we? Arms behind, holding it there behind your body, just stretching your chest out. Standing on one leg, bringing one leg up behind you, pulling your foot up to your bum, trying to keep your knees close together. This will be stretching the front of your leg, your quadriceps. If you need to, you can hold on to something, a chair, a wall, anything you've got. After you've done both feet, breathe up, breathe down, stretch up, stretch down. Very good. How was that? Did you enjoy it? So here at Peak Condition, we're always trying to find new ways to introduce cardio to you in a really fun and challenging way. So if you like our challenges, then please click the subscribe button and keep watching for another challenge.